This type of lizard is called a skink. This is in Palm Desert, Southern California. And no, the camera is not broken. It just has a very herky-jerky style of movement. It's very punctuated in its movement, not fluid at all, which is quite odd. But here you can see it foraging, flickering out its tongue and slapping all these dead leaves around it. There must be some kind of little bugs there that are virtually microscopic to us. It seems to be very thin skinned as you can see from the wrinkles when it bends to the left and the right. And I said it's kind of odd that it moves in such a herky-jerky style because that really attracts the eyes of predators I would assume. Um, and we saw it definitely because it was moving around like this. It is sort of camouflaged but at the same time it's not afraid of humans at all. I don't know what kind of local species or subspecies this skink is. If you know, uh, please help me identify it in the comment section. But I've seen some skinks in the past and they were much more beautiful and shiny than this one. Uh, I've seen ones that had a lot of blue color and other sheens to them. They're very beautiful animals. This one is notable just for having such a long tail, which I didn't notice with many of the other skinks. And they can actually drop their tail. And as I can show you later on uh, why that's relevant, but you know, I don't think this is a juvenile. Yeah. Seems like some of the juveniles have, like, say, for instance, a blue colored tail. And there must be a lot of food around here. It's just foraging like this. They live in all sorts of habitats, a chaparral. You know, there, it doesn't look like it from this camera angle, but I actually did touch its tail, and it showed no fear whatsoever. It must be very accustomed to human presence. We don't have cute little big fat ones like they do in Australia. Like the blue tongue skink I have a video of from the museum where anyone can just walk up to it and pet it. They seem to be a lot more docile and less skittish compared to regular garden variety lizards around here. They prefer rocky areas near streams with lots of vegetation and there are some artificial streams around here created by man and other water sources. So it here it seems like it's trying to eat a little black ant Yeah. and it's having real time. I think it got it though capturing so it. Cool. At this point I decided I was going to make a go for it and try to touch it, its torso, and I actually did make contact twice there. It's very soft, velvety soft, 